Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here. So, today I have a new release for you from GMC Dear Science, and I have to say, this is my favourite collection of all times. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so you're probably not having no idea of what the collection is all about because these are the accessories um, and I did that on purpose <laughs> although with the thumbnail you're probably guessing um, what it is so uh, we do have the accessories um, and then let me find the big versions because I've got my whole so this is like I do, I do one set of Anyway, I do one set of prints um, and then they are my copies and then as and when I need them I do photocopy them so as you can see I do do them in all different sizes so yeah right let's move them so the first one we have how gorgeous is she this is Gloria so Gloria has this gorgeous scarf on and she's got a feather behind her ear so this is our lovely Gloria we then have Geraldine and here she is so she's going out jogging today um which oh my god so so cute now next one is my favorite and he is amazing so the next one is Gerard look at him look at those glasses aren't they just so fun oh I just absolutely love it and then the very last one is our lovely Gabrielle who is holding a gorgeous flower in her mouth how amazing are these so um, on top of ours I love giraffes which isn't a, a known thing about me um, but um, I do actually, and I can't put him on camera because he's a bit too big, but over in the corner, I do have um, a long giraffe that my nana gave me just before she died. So it means a lot to me. Um, so having this collection is lovely. So if I had to go, go to the zoo, the first thing I have to do, I have to go to the giraffes. I just love them. There's something about them that just, yeah, I, I have always loved them. Um, but my obviously i love owls as well but yeah giraffes are mean a lot to me um so yeah um we have the accessories which again are super super fun we've got a mirror um and i have colored the mirror up which we will be using and what i have done when i get it is we've actually turned it into a mirror which is so cool and we also have Jared with his cool sunglasses on so it had to be done it just had to be done we have a cloud we have a flower a heart we've got a flower on a stem and they love this flower we have a tree branch and then we have a leaf and obviously you can take these and put as many as you want into windows or wherever it is that you put them and um, i do all mine through my printer um, which i just find easier i'm not a very technical person um so yeah and then the last thing that we've got in this collection is our sentiments now there is a um a mistake in this one but i printed it out before julia she has sent me the um the proper ones but i already had it printed out so um but i will um reprint it um so we've got reach for your dreams we're not even on my you're not even on my level don't be afraid to stick your neck out beauty does have does not have a height limit sometimes you need a different point of view i'm too fabulous to fit in and when you're a giraffe and get criticized by turtles remember they're just reporting the view from the level they are on how fab so the whole collection is 12.99 or each um giraffe is 2.99 so but you can only get the sentiments and the accessories if you buy the full kit now i do have a coupon code for 15 percent off so do check that out that is in the description box below and um, but it's only uh until sunday midnight so yeah definitely have to check that out now i have already done some coloring in i've had so much fun with these so i've colored in my um accessories 
so I'm just getting all of those accessories out so there they are and we have our little mirror because we, it, it just had to be done so um, I just put all I did was I used my knife uh, to cut my craft knife just to cut that out and then I put some mirror card underneath so that's all I've done with that um, and then I have coloured these in um, so I'm going to be showing you how to do this effect today um, which is just done using two um, inks which I will but you can use any inks I'm literally just using because I, oh, I never seem to pull out any of my other inks I'm always pulling out with distress ink so we're going to be using archival ink in sunflower and we're going to use this stays on in pumpkin so that's the only two inks that we're going to use so I'm going to show you how I did that you can also do the same so this one I coloured in with pens um just super super cool and then these ones I've done the same effect effect of them but I've used my distress inks so you don't have to use these inks you can use any inks and I used um, antique linen wild honey and vintage photo on these and then I went in around with my alcohol ink pens just to color in the detail and then I've done the same with these eyes I've just put some mirror card on the um, on the back to, to represent sunglasses so I just got my knife but what I did do because I did cut away the black is I just got my pro marker and then I've drawn a thick line around the um, the glasses so that they stand out but he is so cool um, this one I've actually used uh, my alcohol ink pens to colour them in and then for his glasses I have literally just gone in with a silver marker um, so yeah for his glasses so you don't need mirror card you can just go in with a silver pen um, or you can even use it it depends what you're looking for but I thought they were really really fun and um, I still need to add in all of the pen details on these ones but what I thought I would do today um oh and there's there's our heart as well so what i thought we would do is once i've moved them out the way um is what we're going to do is we are going to do exactly the same ink blending so i thought i'd do it with you guys and then i have a really really cool idea whether it's going to work i do not know but we're going to try it out um so we'll try it together but i thought we could do a card where um the card is the giraffe and then you pull him up and he's got a big long neck and then at the bottom it'll be our sentiments so I thought that would be quite funky so we'll have a go at that so all I'm going to do I'm just going to take my lids off my inks um, and I've just got a blending brush um, but you can use anything that you are comfortable with you don't need one of these you can use a makeup sponge you can use um the blending tools um yeah honestly anything you could even use a bit of kitchen sponge to do this um you do not need special tools and all i do is i'm just going to go in with the lightest color first so that is my archival in sunflower now i'm going to start off on this section here because i don't want to ha i want it to have a nice blend so with these i find that if i start here you get the sort of odd blend there and then I'm just going to sort of bring it in so as you can see there's a dark bit here and it, if I started in the center of that I would have got that um, whereas um, I've got a nice blend so I'm just coming in from different um, sides all the way around and that is literally it so let's do this one as well which is really cool now I'm wanting to do this again with some of the images but I'm wanting to do them in pinks because I think they would look really really cool in pinks um so just like that so we're just going around so as you can see we've still got quite a lot of white spaces so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my stays on in pumpkin so again let's put some ink on the brush and where it's white where I haven't gone in um, I'm just going to bring it in and as you can see I've got all of this really dark bit here that's why I sort of start from the outboot because I don't want that on my giraffe itself so it would just um, but I think it's because I'm very heavy handed always have been um, so I tend to <laughs> really really push down so now I've done that the la what I then do is come in with the lighter colour again and then go all the way over it and that gives me 
a gorgeous gorgeous blend now it doesn't look like much right now but when you cut it out it looks really really cool so as you can see i'm really darkening up that sunflower um, and that's just because i want this orange to really blend in quite nicely with that um that yellow and there you have it then once you fussy cut that um it do, it looks really really good so this is what you get once you've cut it and then the last thing that i'll do which i will do one with you um let me just finish this one so there i've just gone in quite heavy handed on that giraffe but it's fine um so we're just going to blend all this together so this is if you're, as you can see this is such a much nicer softer blend than this one so this one i, I really did just shove it on and hoped for the best um so it depends what you're looking for i prefer this sort of blend um, but I am, like I said, I am a very, ha very heavy handed person when it comes to actually blending. Um, and the same with when I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth really, really hard. And I have one of those toothbrushes that has the red light on it always on. I have tried not to be as heavy handed, but I am. Right, let me turn my phone off. That's like, I keep having lots and lots of, uh, yeah. Right. Oh, just had a message. I'm going to have to uh, have a look at that. Anyway, right. Um, sorry, it was a message of Tulia. So if you've seen the show or if you've been on Hachanda, so by the time this comes out, Hachanda will have come and gone and you've seen the new collection, the Toadstool Tots. Julia's just messaged me and said that Hachanda has used one of my makes for the ephemeral pieces, which I'm super excited about. So as soon as I finish this video, I will be having a look. Right. Now, okay, <laughs> um, I'm coming in with just an orange alcohol ink marker. You can come in with whatever you want. You can use coloured pencils. You can use an ordinary felt-tip pens. Um, you can use water because you can use, honestly, you can use anything you want. This, I'm just using what I have. And then what I've, I do is I just go, um, I mean, you don't have to choose these colours either. Um but yeah we're just going to color in all of these areas um and it, it's really i mean you don't have to you could actually leave it as it is um because i think it does look really nice as it is as well but i think i like the fact that we've got that gorgeous blended background and then we've got this so I'm not doing any shading, special shading or anything with these pens. I really am just keeping it um, them the same colour and quite bold. And that's just because I like that effect. If you want to go in and do shading with them, then go ahead, honestly. It'll probably look really cool, but I think I really like without the shading because that background's just really nice and has all that nice shaded elements to us um i know that there's a few that um don't like the, the bold yeah the the color and then of just a bold color I like to see the shade inside of things but um some um, sometimes i really don't want to do any of the shade inside of things i literally just want to come in and use and have those bold colours, um, so like those cartoony sort of colours. Right, I've just brought in like a coral, well this is a coral, but it's like a, a brown, just for his nose. Now, for the flower, um, I'm going to actually come in with my berry red, um, just because we need a darkish colour, just to hide the fact that we've gone in with the, um, oh, what do you call it, the inks. This is also really good. So the reason why I've done this is because my hands at the minute are not very good. Um, I am hoping to go and see a doctor very soon um, because my hands seem to be hurting um, quite a bit. Um, I, I already know what it is, but I think I'm just wanting to know if there's anything I can do to prevent them from getting worse. Um, but I'm finding that colouring in can... Um, yeah some days it's proven to be quite hard and it's one of the one things that I really really love is actually colouring in so 
when these came through I was so happy because I thought you know what these are the perfect images in which to just ink blend on and then you don't even have to colour in like I'm doing this really is because I, I wanted to have those sort of um, textures in just going to bring in a green for this stuff um, so and I thought you know what it's going to save my hands and I, I tried it on the first one and I just fell in love so I've done it with nearly all of them um, so yeah so I know that I don't know if you, you'll be able to see it but the looks like I've got a piece of eczema as well um, that's come up on my skin I've never had eczema so it is the first time but yeah um, I, I have got a, a steroid cream for that so I mean, I'm sorry <laughs> I hope it's not putting you off um, hopefully by the time this goes up um, it won't be too bad right I'm just going to pop uh, colour there in as well so that is the image and then because I know you guys love me when I fussy cut so let's fussy cut her out because she is gorgeous so the other thing that is really good now it was Julia who pointed this out to me um she was doing a live on Facebook and I've never thought of it before but if you do um ink blending like this on an image and if you're not very good at fussy cutting this actually hides a multitude of sins so if you go too close one bit if you don't go close enough on another bit then it's going to hide so as you can see I've done this on purpose um so I've left this petal really big this petal to how I would normally have it and then this one a bit close but as you can see it is hidden so many sins because the paper just blends so it's another re a good reason in which to ink blend images um I have also I've been playing with another collection of Julia's because I want to um I've had a, a, a nice play over the weekend with some of the images um, and I was playing with the cocktail girls and I've actually ink blended one of them as well and look how fab she looks isn't that really cool and that's just using peacock feathers and um, wild honey that was it and yet she looks amazing so I've got a really cool video coming up with them so do keep an eye out for that because it involves straws so yeah I'm hoping it works <laughs> we will see but yeah I'm really really looking forward to uh to playing with them so yeah keep an eye out for those right so as you can see oh she's just gorgeous so once I've done this we'll get my mat cleared um so I'll wipe all that ink off um my mat it's supposed to be a self-heal mat and it's got loads of cuts and everything in it where I've been but I'm hoping you can't really see it on the um, on the screen because I, I, as much as I love the glass one, I must admit the glass one is very, very hard wearing. I've only had this one for about a month now and it's already absolutely, yeah, trash. But I do so much in this room and I do lots and lots of uh, different styles of crafting that unfortunately these type of mats don't stay nice for long but I think when it starts looking really bad I'll turn it over and then we'll use the other side and then when that's really really bad I'll get my other one out um yeah and we'll try it we'll try and keep that mat as long as we can um yeah but I must admit when I've been editing and watching the videos with this grey background it looks so much better um, than it did with the black one as much as I love the black the light you could because you could see my lights um, it was a bit yeah um, and I tried so many different things to sort out my lighting and I literally just needed to get a different mat which is mad isn't it right okay let me move her out the way and then I might actually because these yeah so as you can see it's stained my mat because I'm using water where have I put my there it is so because of the type of inks that these are I'm actually just using my rubbing alcohol which does get them off um, because these are a permanent um, ink and the waterproof so it definitely wouldn't work right just reading it so yeah so I just use my rubbing alcohol on them um, and it gets most of it up but I need to start remembering to actually 
pop down like a piece of paper or something but I just forget I forget okay and I think most of us do that don't we okay right so we are going to work with I'm thinking I love this mirror absolutely love this mirror right let's have a look because I've done lots I'll have to do a couple of videos oh how cool is that right we're not going to use him I'm thinking where is he um no I need a bigger one she might be really good if I take off her neck and if we do a con like a um is it a Constantina fold like a yeah no can't think of the name but hang on um <coughs> like a fan um oh it's gone right out of my head I think if we did that on the back we could sort of stick her there we'll use this is the card base so I'll get a card base out of my stash and we'll actually use this sort of thing and then we can sort of lift her up and it'll have the sentiment on how cool would that be right okay let me go in my stash I'm I've got some um different colored card stock so we're go I'm going to grab some yellow and orange and we'll have a look to see which one is better I'm also going to go and grab a card base as well so we'll shot a card base on um yeah and we'll go from there so I'll be back in a second I'm back okay so I've got some bits of card I found this yellow card base in my stash um, and I'm thinking let's stick that on there like that and then we'll cut around it so that is our alloy I don't think it will stand um, because that sort of yeah although should we just leave it like that with right you know what I'm gonna do let's get before I do so let me grab a piece of paper out there we go let's make it more orange around the edges let's like get it all blended in more i got a piece of paper i actually did yeah. okay i remembered right most of this is going to be covered so i'm not bothered that it's not a brilliant sort of um blend just as long as we get it um sort of right if that makes any sense I feel like I'm not making any sense at all today yeah that is so much better so let's do all the way around so this is a fun way that if you've got colored card bases but it's not quite the color that you're after just by po popping some ink on it changes that color and actually gives you the sort of base that you want so um, another little um, thing that you can sort of do oh, my, hat, my arms hurting now <laughs> lots and lots of ink blending okay so let's go all the way around so I do have my two little puppies today they are in the room with me and you know what they are being as good as gold so I did put a little poll out on my Facebook group asking if um people would like to um see keep, continue to see lady in the videos and hear about them and every single person said yes so thank you so much everybody um so yeah so let me know if you um would like to continue seeing lady i'm not sure she'll be in this video though but um yeah like i said she is asleep so while she's quiet leave her be same as when the kids were or when they were asleep you used to tiptoe around hoping that you could get that extra half an hour so you could get yeah the, the pots done or you could do that um last load of washing or yeah or you could sit and finish watching your um the program that you were watching <laughs> oh i remember those days so well okay right love that color that color is gorgeous actually that works lovely we just need a little bit more ink on this side so let's keep adding just like this so yeah so um but she's already been up um while i was 
um, colouring in and prepping for this video. She was, uh, yeah, she was at my side wanting her treat. Um, I do actually have now. I've learned because, yeah, I now have little treats for them just on the side for when they start. So, right, okay. A little bit of chit chat while we're ink blending. Just a little bit more. Right, okay, so um, let us pop them on and then what we're going to do, oh, see that just sits so much better. Right, I'm going to put that to the side because we can use that for something else. Now that looks awesome. Now, because we're already going to have dimension on this, so um, I'm just going to come in with my glue actually. Hopefully it's not, it needs undoing. Um, it is actually just about run out I'm going through this stuff like yeah really really quickly oh I know it's just dripping out everywhere yeah um so I know Amazon do sell the bigger bottles um for 18.99 I think it was or 16.99 uh, the lovely Michelle did um let me know so uh, when I'm down to my last bottle, I think how I might order the bigger one. Although I find that the little ones and uh, kinder on my um, on my hands. Now we are going to jazz up that um, orange. Oh, doesn't that look gorgeous? Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Right. Okay. That is our card base. So yeah. Oh. I love that. I really, really love that. Now, what we're going to do is let's just move that to the side. Um, right, let me. My husband actually washed my cloth for me. Look, it looks so much cleaner. I mean, it's stained off all of the ink and stuff, but you no, know, it is still still much cleaner. Right. Um. So we're going to cut her neck off, which sounds mean, but um, that is what we are going to do like this so uh, i am sorry sweetie we're going to pop her there but what we are going to do is um so these are bits of card that i am um, i got given but you can buy them so they are um the two uh, they're just shy of two and three quarter inches and you can get these strips the, the for die cutting in um or oh, What's uh, the price, the range? Um, I have seen them, so I've just grabbed them out of my stash. But like I said, you can use anything that you want. Now I'm cutting these down to one and a half inch strips, so just like that. And then what I'm going to do is, if I can see it, yeah, I've had a little change around, so yeah, I can actually get in, and then. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to score it. Oops, oh no, it needs to go that way, doesn't it? There we go. Um, I'm going to have to, I was hoping not to open it up because my desk has become really, really full. Um, I've actually, yeah, no room whatsoever anymore. And it's let me move all of these out of the way. Okay, right. So let's open this up. Um, I've decided to put my Gemini on the desk, but I think it's going to have to go back to where it was. Um, but I was enjoying the fact that I could use it. So now I'm just going to mark these at one inch. Um, so we're just going to score every one inch all the way along. So these are actually um, six and a quarter inches of these. Um, pieces so where's that other bit there it is let's do the same with this one so again we're just going to score at one inch but when I saw these I really wanted to make a really fun super card um something just a little bit different because this it's such a fun stamp set that yeah it just it had not stamp set um yeah stamp set um so I'm going to leave that bit bigger we're going to use that bit to stick down and then I'm going to use that bit so where's my glue so let us pop some glue on there 
um, and we're just going to uh, is it that yeah no well I don't know okay no it's not it's the other way so I'm just going to pop that in right. my glue has decided it's going to leak everywhere um, but I like to keep it upside down so that it's ready to use as soon as right okay so let us fold that over and then we're just going to fold all of these over as well so just like that so that's what we've got and then I'm just going to use my bone folder just to yeah do that let's bring the card back now um I'll actually I'll use this bigger bit to stick on her head so again let's um grab our glue now I'm I am being very very generous with the glue because obviously I don't want this to fall apart on the person who gets it now but we are going to have to think of a way of closing this up um so so that it stays down oh that is so fun that is so fun oh I love it how cool <laughs> How cool is that? Honestly, the simplest of things keep me happy. Right, okay, let us pop some glue here. We will worry about how it closes in a minute. Right, um, I might just put a belly band on. Why not? Because she's got a band around her, her head. So let's stick her head just there. Now, I am going to hold it just for a few seconds. Oh, actually, let's... There we go. So that's held. Okay. Now um, the sentiments. Uh, I do have some somewhere that I can cut out. Um, what did I do? Oh, there they are. Right. I would like to have. Uh, oh, I quite like this one. You're not even on my level, but I really like this one. So. I'm going to use this one I'm going to sort of see if there's a way we can sort of put it all the way down um yeah I'm going to end up chopping off there we go that's better right so let's get rid of them I don't need them this time and then what I'm going to do is we are going to try and cut it so that yeah. One more. Done. Okay. Right, and then I'll cut them down by hand. Now, I'm going to bring back this piece of paper because I am going to do some ink blending because I'm not too sure about how stark that white is. Oh, how cool is that? <laughs> that is so cool and then you can lift it up and then we'll be able to see the sentiment so that is what I am thinking um like I said I'm gonna have to think we're gonna have to think what are we gonna do to hold this down <laughs> isn't that so sorry I'm so entertained so entertained right okay let's move these over so um oh dear right um right when right uh, all right now it, when you're a giraffe so make sure this is in the right order when you're a giraffe and get criticized by turtles remember they're just reporting the view from the level they are on so that's what we want right I'm gonna cut all of these side bits off and then what we're going to do is pop some color onto them so yeah Oh, this is so fun. I, th I don't think I'm, I've made a card so fun before. Um, yeah. So, again. Ooh, make sure keeping it in the right order. And then. So, I'm hoping they all fit on. We can always cut them down um, word by word if we need to now I'm not sure if you heard that but that is actually my little boy snoring away okay so I'm just going to bring in my sunflower um, and not too much 
um, we are, I mean this um, brush still has some residue on from um, my pumpkin as well which is quite nice so we are getting both colours but only using one which I think is really cool so and this is just for it to blend in because um, I'm not sure I would like the stark the whiteness of that um, paper okay so yeah so we're just changing it up um, but yeah I want to do some bright pink giraffes so that's what I'm going to be doing next I love bright pink um, I'm going to do a couple of videos with these ones first because I've got them already made up um, but we're going to have I was actually thinking which I think would be really really cool of doing really bright giraffes and making a puppet show yeah how cool would that be so we could stick our giraffes on little lollipop sticks and we could build a little box where we have our own giraffe puppet show so I, that's what I'm thinking of doing how cool would that be how cool right let's pull her out and let's have a look so we're going to put when you're a giraffe actually it'll be all right if it sort of stays we're going to have it all crooked because I think that will look really cool um just making sure that yes we do right how cool is that um however I am going to bring it down one because um yeah we can so we will right okay and I'm going to have them sort of uh, slanted as well um, when you're a giraffe and get criticised by turtles so I nearly put them in the wrong way so just like that I Turtles, remember, pop that in there. They're just reporting the view. There we go. From the level they are on. Okay. <laughs> that is so fun. <laughs> it is so fun. Oh, I love it. Oh, I really, really love it. I am so so pleased with that. Right, look how cool is that? <laughs> oh dear, honestly it's been, I, I get so amused and yeah so pleased with myself. But isn't that what crafting's all about? Isn't it um, awesome when you're having so much fun um, and what you're doing is very entertaining? I love that. Do you know what I think? So to hold it on it's going to have to be a belly band because I don't wear my velcro is because the other thing I thought was was have like a strip that goes over and then you can just velcro it off but I don't have any velcro so yes we're gonna have to do a strip that sort of slots over <laughs> how cool is that right oh dear I'm so easily entertained right um I do want however I think we need to have so let's our law can we have it so that no I was going to say it would be nice if we can sort of have it so that the flowers so we pop the flowers on oh if we did one there um if we had the other one sort of like that and then lifted it out but then I'm not sure how that would work but I do like that idea I really like that idea um, but you would have to get it put you'd, you'd have to get it right for it to work so I think because I don't know if we're going to get it right um, I don't want to spoil it I love that flower there though but you could sort of if you just glued it there you could sort of just tuck it in just like that and then if you had a flower up there you could, or see we've got these right no we're going to do a belly band but I really really like this um this flower on so I'm going to keep that on 
um, definitely because that just looks really really nice and then I really like this flower as well um, up at the top so let's put that on as well okay I'm going to turn that the other way because it is just pouring out for some reason now do I have let's have a look I did have the leaf somewhere that I had coloured in um, and it looks like I've misplaced it because yes oh no I haven't I've got it it's just here so I'm thinking that we have that there yeah just to add a bit more colour I think as well what I might do is bring in some gems so we'll add a little bit of bling okay let me think um we need some card that colors so let's have a look what about oh drop that bit of card so let's have a look see what we've got surely i think i've, I've got some gold in here so that's actually mirror card but what about this red yeah, I'm going to go with that red actually because I think that one will work. So let me put this back. See, orange isn't really a colour I tend to buy. But I think now I have these stamps, I think I may need to actually buy them, because buy some orange um, cardstock so they have some in. Right. We are going to just do a one inch strip. Um, I might have to do two, but we'll start off with just a one inch strip and then let's see if this goes around. Oh, it does. Right, okay, so we only need the one strip. Sorry for all that um, banging around. And then we're just going to sort of fold that over. However, what I'm going to do, let's bring our card back in. Um, I am sorry for the long video today, um, but I thought it'd be nice for you to see the whole process. So I've never done anything like this before. So yeah, oh, that works, doesn't it? Right, but what I'm going to do, instead of popping um glue on because i don't want to risk this let us right there they are um what i'm going to do is actually grab my double-sided tape and let's pop a bit on because what i'm thinking of doing is um if i can get this off okay so what i think would work quite nicely is if we just did that take that off and just pop that other little bit just over there just over that joint because I want to make sure that joint is okay we could actually use um oh I know um we could use another no I don't know I don't know what I want oh we could actually use the cloud do you know what right this is going to be so random. I actually move that out of the way a second. I'm going to add, uh, see what's on my brush actually. Let's bring the colour in on this. So I'm just using what's left on my brush uh, just to bring in that orange. Because what I'm thinking is, why don't we use another one of the of these so reach for your dreams because i quite like that one. Oh no i'm too fabulous to fit in so that's what we're going to use that one instead um yeah so why don't we just do that well, i was thinking of doing it on the cloud but no we won't so let's pop some colour all the way around this because like I said it's a bit a bit too white um I am going to bring in let's bring in the corner rounder and then let's round these corners now I'm rounding these corners because I think they're less likely to catch on our giraffe by rounding them yeah let's do that and then last thing I'm going to do 
is I'm going to come in with so let me move these out of the way so I just need that one so let's pop that off to the side what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in with a, um, a fine liner pen and I'm just going to do and now this is in orange um, this is a Scribblicious pen that came from the works I'm not sure if they have them in still but I know that um, B&M were also selling them and they were quite inexpensive they were about £7 um, for about I want to say 20 colours maybe around that so that's all this is um, but you can use any sort of pen that you want so I'm just popping on some fake stitching just like that and then the other thing is I'm just going to pop some little circles so just around like yeah I love that right so let's bring her in um, the last thing that I'm going to do with this card I can't believe how fun it is I really am like yeah I love it um, so let's pop that on there like that now the very last thing is I would like some gems because yeah they deserve to be sort of um, blinged up to other so let's have a look what gems do I have so I have a big box just down here which I can't sort of get at let's see what we have um, okay I don't know if you can hear that but that is Lucy upstairs so she's just been yeah little Lucy right okay so I'm just going to use these pearls um, so let's pop a couple on here um, and some little tiny ones like that oh, I love that and then watch are you ready are you ready are you ready you just take that off and then voila <laughs> oh so sorry I really am entertained on her today yeah, don't you just love being in one of those really happy cheery moods? Yeah, right, okay. Um, so let us pop some pearls just all the way around. And it's just, I'm just adding these just for a little bit of extra detail. Um, yeah, so here we have our card. So when we... Um, and give it to someone we can say oh, it's like a face mask isn't it she's got a bed it's a face mask <laughs> so she, yeah she's got she's having an she's having a lie in today so what that's it when we do it and then when we take this off we've got a long neck that is so cool so that is it that is my card for today and um, I know this has been a long video so I am sorry about that and I have sort of done everything with you guys um, except for the colouring in well no we did the colouring in as well um, but yeah this is what we've created and I have to say I absolutely love it I'm so pleased with myself um, and do you know what I'm going to keep this for one of my nieces or nephews birthdays because it's so fun it's like super super fun uh, yeah so um, thank you so so much for watching don't forget that if you want this collection i do have a coupon code for 15 percent off i mean how awesome is that um i will have a few more videos coming up over the next few days um with this collection that i mean i just absolutely love and i think it's going to be a regular on my channel because um yeah the giraffes are amazing and there's so much more things i would like to do so like I said, really want to colour them in pink so that I can do a little puppet show. I think that would be lovely for my nieces and my, um, yeah, my nieces and nephews. Um, but I think we're going to make something probably using a few of these in my next video, which I'll probably put up tomorrow for you. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I've had so much fun doing this um, with you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you for spending your time with me. Um, please 
please check out the other ladies as well they've made some super super projects with these gorgeous gorgeous um images uh, i've been very lucky that i have been seeing them so yes yeah, super super excited for you guys to see them as well head over to our lovely julia's facebook page as well so much inspiration on there honestly the stuff that you guys are coming up with is amazing so please do share your makes um with us um but that is it for today thank you so much for watching and until next time happy crafting bye